Welcome to Wasted Local Talent. Talent. What's up, everybody? I'm Daniel. I'm Josiah. I'm Ashley. <laughs> Today we're wasting our talent with Liz Pavlovic from Liz Pavlovic Design. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> So tell us about what you do. So I'm a freelance graphic designer and illustrator. Um, I'm in Morgantown, and I do graphic design stuff for other people, and then I also um, sell some merch, like at vending pop-up type events and on Etsy. Um, Most of it's like West Virginia-themed, whether it's foods from the state or um, cryptids mostly or just weird stuff about the state. What made you want to start doing that? Um, I guess, honestly, it started like a couple of years ago when I had the idea, I, like a lot of people were doing enamel pins at that point, and I really wanted a pepperoni roll pin, um, just because I thought it'd be like a funny, silly thing. That sounds, sounds fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it started with that, and um, a lot of other people wanted it, which was cool, and I guess kind of surprised me like how popular it was. Uh, so I did a West Virginia hot dog, too, and it just kind of grew from there. Mm. So you you brought some stuff for us and the little sheet that you have. So it's got like what a hot dog, a pepperoni roll. Yeah, um, it has a pawpaw, uh, ramps. Apple uh, butter. Yeah. Morel, buckwheat cakes. Apple butter pawpaw. is elite. I mm-hmm. love that. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I love apple butter. It reminds me of my grandma's. We'd go there and put it on waffles. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that sounds good. Apple butter fantastic. on anything. Yeah. It's super good. And then hot dogs. Is, it, is there hot dog sauce on your hot dog? Yeah, there's sauce and uh, coleslaw. Nice, because I was talking with Michael, or Daniel's brother earlier, and he was calling it hot dog chili, and I uh, said, you're not. Yeah, but you guys aren't from the <laughs> yeah. area, right? We were, he was born in New York. Yeah. I was born in Washington. Our, our family's technically from here, but we were, there's, we kind of grew up out of state. So. Yeah, Still it makes sense. a big difference. Do you say pop or soda? Soda. Yeah, do you all say soda? Uh, well, I, my family's from West Virginia, but I grew up in Alabama partially, so I kind of go back and forth on that one, because, yeah. like, when I was a kid in Alabama, everyone said pop. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's pop, a difference, but. even just, like, it's, like, West Virginia's split in the middle on that. Like, the bottom half of West Virginia is pop, and the top half is soda. Yeah, that's kind of how the chili sauce thing is, too. Is yeah. Because like, <clears throat> my parents are from, like, Boone County, and they say chili. Oh, but it's, really? It's very different from, like, chili that you'd have with, like, cornbread or something. Right, and yeah. You just know, but... Yeah, I yeah. say hot dog sauce and then chili like you eat yeah. soup chili. I'll and say pop. I say pop. But I'll also call it like orange soda or something like that. So if I feel like orange soda is the title of the pop flavor. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's orange pop. It's orange soda pop. Sody pop. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Doddridge <clears throat> County and I noticed the difference just in Paul's from Fairmont and he says soda, I say pop. That's funny. Like, yeah. there's like a definite line mm-hmm. somewhere around this area where people stop using certain terms. And there's like an age line, to age line too. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can tell someone's age based on what they call something. Yeah. yeah. Like, I have you ever heard someone call a grocery bag a poke? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. well, they're from older than I am. But yeah, and carts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like oh, that. yeah. Yeah, for sure. A toboggan or a sled. That's more of a. Like a Mason Dixon line thing. See, we were, I was having this, I have a friend in Milwaukee right now that just moved to Milwaukee and what was it? Oh, it was a hat. He sent me a picture of a beanie and was like, what do you call this? And I was like, a beanie or a toboggan? And he was like, okay, people in Milwaukee call these poof hats. What? And I just think that's ridiculous. (laughs) (laughs) It is ridiculous. Yeah, I've never heard that. Because yeah, we called them toboggans growing up usually. (laughs) All right. Back to <laughs> <laughs> so you draw you, you draw everything yourself and design yeah. everything yourself. Yeah, I didn't mm. know what was happening. Just I just kept pointing at me, <laughs> smiling. Well, I was trying to maintain professionalism on the podcast, and no, you're the only one that's ever tried to. Do uh-huh. that, that's so. why you're LinkedIn. <laughs> I am LinkedIn. <laughs> Gosh, that was fantastic, by the way. <laughs> so, do you sell um, any of your things in stores around here, like? Sh- like Hoot and Howl or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, mm-hmm. Hoot and Howl carries a lot of my stuff. Um, the co-op carries some of it. Earth Magic in Morgantown. Um, Retro Teak. 
yeah. And then some other places in state. Have, some places I was in at um, Blackberry yesterday, and you've got mm-hmm. little burrito pins in there. Yeah, they commissioned oh, me to do. Cool. Yeah, so the burritos are really pen. cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. Now, do you do you print your stickers yourself, or do you have them printed? I have them printed by a company yeah. that does them. Okay. Yeah. I wish I had the capabilities to do mm-hmm. that, but maybe someday I'll have room for like a die cutter. Or They're something. like really nice quality stuff. Like mm-hmm. the stickers are really heavy. Oh, yeah, they the, do a good job. Yeah, and the enamel yeah. pins are really, really nice. I like the Thanks. patches because it's got the the fuzzy, like fuzzy, the fuzzy on it. On it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we were talking, um, she's got these Live, Laugh, Lurk Mothman <clears throat> that are like Burt Reynoldsing. And she, so people are getting this tattooed on them. I think that's so cool. Wow. Yeah, it's was that like super mind surreal? That yeah, people are getting your stuff tattooed on them. It's still really weird. Um, I mean, yeah, it's happened three times. And like I said yesterday, someone same? sent me a new one, and it's <laughs> always the live left lurk yeah. man so far. I think but, that's so cool. I feel yeah. like the cryptids is like, I don't know if it's just the people that I'm friends with. But I feel like it's becoming more popular for like sure. The Mothman and yeah, things like that. That is genius yeah. marketing. Like, people love West Virginia stuff, obviously. Yeah. But, like, you're doing a West Virginia thing that you can't find everywhere. Like, you can always yeah. find, like, a flying WV or outline of the state mm-hmm. or something yeah. like that. But you're doing, like, really unique stuff. Cool. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's yeah. super cool. I try to just do stuff that is different that, like, people can't find easily like, that I would want to buy. that and, yeah. and serpent yeah. <laughs> so fast. A lot of people <laughs> requested it. I was like, should I do it? Is that like reaching too far? But so many people were like, I you're going to do it. it, right? And I was like, oh, I guess I have to now. Do you know I, what I'm talking about? I worked in Saberton when that thing was on the loose. Oh, God. Did <laughs> and I worked in the basement of an oil changing place where it would not take very much for, you know, a 15 foot python to slide down in there and just It wouldn't have bothered you. Listen, I'm... Very annoying most times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's yeah, that. and I I was ninety five percent sure that I was probably going to get eaten by a snake. But. He wouldn't have bothered you. Did they ever find that? No. They, there was a second one, right? Yeah, in Richwood, they did find that one. Okay, that's what I thought. I they're going to find each joke. other and find love. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. But yeah, they wanted to hear the guy got like fined for it uh-huh. or like, or maybe sent to jail too. I'm like, not sure. I mean, how does that happen? Yeah. How do you lose a 15 foot snake? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how it was loose in his truck to begin with. That's what with. I'm saying. And then he's like, yeah. the best doing? idea now is to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> He's smart enough to pick the lock and get loose. This is an intelligent snake. Yeah. No. No. I, like I mean, it has a Twitter account. Does yeah, really? I've, yeah. Yeah. I've seen this. Um, <laughs> oh, what's it called? The Morgantown Snake or something like yeah, that. Yeah. I can't remember what the handle is, but <laughs> it's entertaining. It has some good ones. I, did, I don't have a Twitter. I um, barely use it. Yeah. I mean, I think I do because I get emails telling me that things are happening on Twitter, but I don't remember even setting up a Twitter account. <laughs> yeah. It's it's very good for news. Like you can follow all your favorite news sources and then mute Daniel's depressing tweets. And <laughs> I don't even tweet. You just put out videos of yourself on Fortnite. Yeah, oh, that is depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Listen, it's 2020. I'm trying to do a change. Just kidding. I'm proud of you. Daniel. It won't happen. So, <laughs> walk me through. You you mentioned how you just like threw out a pepperoni roll graphic, which this is fantastic, but. Did you sit down and hand draw first, or how's the creative process go with you? Um, it's been different and kind of changed since I started doing this stuff more seriously. Um, but it's, I guess, a mix of like sketching and digital stuff. And sometimes I'll do stuff by hand and then like scan that in. <clears throat> but now I have an iPad, which has changed it uh, pretty significantly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's been really awesome. Just in the past like two months, I've had that. But, um, before that, I was just using my desktop and using like a mouse mostly to do oh my the drawing God. stuff. Wow. Yeah. And then How much carpal nicer. tunnel. nicer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I play around, I don't draw, but I play around with Paul's iPad. And I've been on paint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I got really good at some circles on paint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> airbrush tool. my balloons. <laughs> <laughs> just a circle, like an oval and a triangle at the bottom. <laughs> But, like, Procreate, my God, that would be so much more comfortable to use than using yeah. a mouse. Yeah, it's super nice. I can't imagine trying to do that stuff with a mouse. I guess I never thought about what graphic designers did before. Yeah, iPads. I mean, there are tablets you can use, like, with your desktop, but I just never, I don't know, found one I liked well enough and got frustrated. It's like, I'm just going to use my mouse, and I used that in college all the time. I just got used to it, I guess. But 
It's a lot of work. I got a lot of respect <clears throat> for graphic design when I was in high school. We took I took a uh, um, like a blueprint course where we had to go through and like graphically designed blueprints oh, and it took I did hours too, yeah forever Lord. it took a long time i made a really cool house i remember i mean that. i you had to design your own house i was, was very proud of cool. what i did but also yeah. i followed the instructions exactly so i didn't really actually <laughs> do anything but just the amount of time like people think oh you just go on the computer and just yeet out a picture no <laughs> yeah. it doesn't really happen that way <laughs> it it takes a lot of i don't know some people are natural at it some people it takes time to learn. Did were you good with computers, or were you artistic to begin with, or did it take um, any time to learn stuff? I've always liked drawing. I mean, uh, my mom is an art teacher, so I was lucky in that respect that she was like encouraging and um, did kind of help teach us. But um, yeah, I guess I always liked computers since my family got one. I was kind of obsessed with it, and they used to yell at me for like being on it too long. But, uh, Ruining your life. Yeah, I was just obsessed with yeah. Were you outside. spending all your time on paint, or were you on like Oregon Trail? Because um, I used to definitely grind that. both of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and played then, some pinball. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, oh, the, the Windows pinball. pinball. Yeah. Was, yeah. I snuck a lot of Doom when my mom wasn't home. Yeah. I played Doom. I had a demo version of Earthworm Jim, though you could only play the first level. But I got so good at that first level, I could yeah. do it in less than a minute. It was fantastic. You're so but, pure, Josiah. <laughs> there was a game that came in Chex. I don't know if any of you guys ever played that. But yeah. it was called Chex Quest, and it was like a disc oh, video yeah. game that came in the serial, but it was really awesome, and it was mm-hmm. based on, like, Wolfenstein, I think, or something. Yeah. It was just reskinned. Mm-hmm. My parents didn't I remember Or maybe Doom. It might have actually been Doom. I can't remember. It was one of those. But yeah, it was I just playing. absurd. I think it was Doom that they based it off of. Yeah. I think. Because there was a... <laughs> there was also a game that they came out with that was like Noah's Ark, um, but it was the Doom like it was just remasked oh. yeah. Doom, and I think there was like sheep that were trying to like <laughs> kill you or something. I don't know. It was just like yeah, like hey, here's a story from the Bible. We're gonna take this, but we're not gonna <laughs> change the fact that they're trying to kill you. I think that's I think I it was something around those lines. But yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. I played a lot of Berenstein Bears growing up. <laughs> I don't know. If I never remember. played that game. I mean, uh-huh. I read the books, but yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I, there was a Daffy Duck game. No, maybe Donald Duck. There was a game with ducks. I remember. I forget the code, but I had to go in and put like backslash code and put the floppy disk in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. This is this is my life. This is my first computer. Wait, how old are you? Thirty. Are you thirty? I am. Okay. I know. It. It hurts. I, <laughs> I just, I vaguely, vaguely remember floppy disks. I definitely, like, by the time I was out of elementary school, floppy disks were done. Yeah. Um, that's friend, about how long yeah. I used them, I guess. Friend of the podcast, Hunter, talked about how, um, as part of a class, they 3D printed out a floppy disk. And one of the kids in his class was like, oh, that's cool. You you got the save icon from your computer. Oh, <laughs> my God. He was like, oh, oh man. no. We had a talk with our oldest the other day. He's 11. About he just got a cell phone. And, like, it's just he doesn't, like, have internet access or anything. So it's just, like, a really basic cell phone. It's a jitterbug? Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> no, it's a smartphone, but it's just got so many parental locks on it. He can't do anything with yeah. it. But he's just like, like, we were just talking about cell phones and stuff. And like, I got to the point where I said something about T9 and like, Ooh, oh, my yeah. Gosh. And I blew his mind so hard. I was like, man, if you wanted to type an S, you had to hit that nine three times. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, what? He was like, what did it take a long time? And I was like, no, because we got really freaking <laughs> we fast. Did. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Was it called? Was it T9 when you could just like type out a word and it would know just based on? The numbers that you press that you probably meant that word. Like, I don't know what it was called. Autocorrect? No. It's <laughs> like, like the, it's called now. There, but. There, was, there was something you could put on your phone to where if you didn't have to press the button three times to hit S, you could just click that button. Oh, I, I think some of them had the word. predictive texting yeah. like that. Where mm-hmm. it would really? Like I don't up. remember. You could spell like the word storm, fancy, yeah. and it would know just based on the number pattern that you probably meant <clears throat> storm. Oh, mm-hmm. no, I don't remember yeah. that. I had friends that were so good at it, though, they could, like, just do it under their desk. Oh, yeah, I did. In your pocket. I went through yeah. multiples of the same phone because I wore out the keypads 
because I mean, the phones were junk. Yeah, and you had to mm-hmm. push it so many. Yeah, times. and I would yeah. like wear off the keypad, like yeah. all the numbers and stuff. So you I just still know that. Like, yeah. yeah, and I would just like text with my hand in my purse during class. <laughs> See, I I didn't have my first phone till I was nineteen. I bought it by myself. Yeah, and it was a track phone. Mm-hmm. And once my soccer team figured out that it cost me half a minute for every text that I got. They, they wiped out all my minutes on a bus ride. Bullies. It was, you know, it hurt, but I would like to think that that's probably the most I've ever been texted in my entire life. <laughs> so I enjoyed it. I got some attention. Yeah, this is pretty much what we do. We yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to your stuff eventually. No, that's fine. I like not talking All right, about so it. what is this guy? What is the Eat, Pray, Love guy? That's Krampus. Oh, okay. I was yeah. th- I was trying to th- come up with a West Virginia thing. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. He's not West Virginia related. There's a lot of things that, like, a lot of the West, West Virginia cryptids that I didn't know about until I saw your stuff. Like, yeah, I, I didn't know anything stuff. about, like... Um, there's one around Fairmont area. Is it Re- the Vegetable Man? Or I just did Reefsville that one recently. Or something? Um, I mean, there's please explain in- the Vegetable Man after this conversation. <laughs> yes. yeah. so I've never heard of that. So I've watched. Monster. I've seen Veggie Tales. <laughs> 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 Is it a cucumber by any chance? I mean, listen, maybe. I legit love Veggie Tales. I love it. <laughs> I watched it last week. I could still sing the song, the intro song. I know. Like, I words. love it so much. I know the guy that played the tuba. For that. Of course oh, you right. do. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't you. Well. But anyway. anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. There could be which something one that would be. Fairmont area that I didn't know about. Yeah, there are a lot of weird ones. I mean, there's, yeah, there's Grafton Monster, um, Snarly Yo. Maybe, maybe that was it? That the Flatwoods like, Monster? What's, the, there, there's it's a the bunch Grafton of. Grafton Monster. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Popular yeah. in Fallout 76. The video yeah. game. Oh, I don't play. What a terrible well, video game. <laughs> Sadly. Did it? Not, it wasn't good. No, they put Beckley north of Morgantown. <laughs> oh, really? It, it was so bad. It just had a lot of <laughs> problems and issues yeah. with it that weren't even like game related, just like functionality related. Oh. Like, it wouldn't. Yeah, work. like it wasn't actually like even. Yeah, I remember playable. like yeah. obviously I didn't hearing really try, a lot about it when it was first. Like they showed the trailer and stuff for it, and then I never heard anything. I, I don't play video games. Yeah, too, no, so. that's yeah. Fine. Mm-hmm. I just, just be updating it, but who knows? I don't know a bunch of people were excited about it. Mm-hmm. Well, me and Michael got it so we could play it. And you look I looked so at mad right now. Hmm? You look really mad? Yeah. I think I'm so it's pissed some... off at Bethesda. <laughs> Fuck I mean, people. it was yeah. We were like, oh, we're finally represented in a video game. This was wild because it was crazy yeah. to me. It was like right after I started doing this stuff, and I was like, this is insane that yeah, these cryptids like, hey, are in look, a video that's game. The and, yeah. yeah, and they're based in fucking Maryland. It's not like they had to go oh. far to like do research. Yeah. You well, know. that sucks. Yeah, <laughs> they had. Yeah. Um, ooh, they put up the Grafton Monster sign over in Grafton, where the Grafton mm-hmm. Monster was sighted. Yeah, is that still up? Is I don't know. Up? I got it. Got stolen like at least once, I think. Yeah, but I, I don't know that. if it's up now or mm-hmm. what. Who knows? Yeah, it's a vegetable man. I'm yes, vegetable. Yeah, Please so explain. he was seen near Fer- uh, near Fairmont, I think, in like the fifties or sixties. Um, just once by a farmer, like in a field, and I guess he's like this thin, stalk like kind of tall celery vegetable man. <laughs> Sounds thing. like Slender Man. So, an alien. Yeah. yeah, kind of like a veggie Slender Man, I guess. Okay. <laughs> like he, a, a healthy version. So a guy in, a healthy Fairmont, version. <laughs> <laughs> a guy in Fairmont ate a lot of mushrooms. Right. <laughs> yeah. And saw his scarecrow and right. freaked out. <laughs> Probably, <hard. laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was supposed to have like um, suction cup fingers that Ooh. he like tried to suck his blood with or something. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. yeah. And I've never heard this. So, okay, so did you know a lot so you about West Virginia your cryptids before you started this? Or was it like an interest that you had to do a bunch of research on to come up with more stuff? Um, I'm like, yeah, I've been doing research about it. I started doing like the Mothman and Flatwoods Monster and was reading about them um, and got inspired initially when I went to Mothman Fest for the first time in like 2017. And I'd seen the movie as a kid and stuff, but I'd never been to the festival and there was so much art and stuff based around that I thought was really cool. Um, but then, yeah, I just started researching the other cryptids, and there's a lot of them out there, like more than I expected, even just in state, which is really interesting. And people at events always are like, "Have you heard of this one?" and have crazy stories about really obscure stuff. There's hmm. so many. I, um, of course, everyone knew the Mothman because of the movie, and then 
I feel like when I started to notice that there were a lot based in West Virginia was when geocaching was a really big thing. Mm -hmm. And you could go geocache and it'd be like in a haunted, abandoned mine town. Geocaching is when someone basically goes out and hides an item and they'll mark it on the app, like the coordinates. And you have the app as well, and you go find the item based on the coordinates, and you sign it, or you get whatever item it is. But it was kind it's of a like big a thing. like a scavenger hunt. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like a scavenger hunt through smartphone app. Oh. And I know a bunch of people did it. Man, but the things I could do if I didn't have yeah. kids. They, they would hide <laughs> stuff in like... There's just a whole world of people out there doing things. Mine towns, <laughs> or they would hide it where the Grafton monster was sighted. And I was mm. like, there's all these <clears> really cool spots that I didn't even know about, but... Now, now I'm here, risking my life to find something I found in a game. <laughs> but it was fun. I don't have anything to add right now. <laughs> <laughs> I did it one time. I geocached outside of PNC Park in Pittsburgh one time, and I, we were I was with my brother, and we were going through the bushes, and we looked for like an hour, and I was pretty sure that like the security guards were like starting to come over. And look. <laughs> All right, really we're, we just give this one up. I don't think it's here anymore. <laughs> okay, so what are your favorite cryptids that you do? Um, I mean, Mothman's my favorite, and a lot of people really like him, so I've definitely done the most stuff with him. Uh, I mean, I have a tattoo of him, but uh, I don't know. I mean, Flatwoods Monster, I kind of like to imagine that they're like best friends, so I do a lot of stuff <laughs> with the two of them together. So I don't know anything about the Flatwood, Flatwoods Monster. Um, it's thought to maybe be an alien or something, but it was actually seen before Mothman in 1952, um, obviously in Flatwoods, West Virginia, by some kids and like a school teacher. Some people saw like a light in the sky. It looked like it was like coming towards Earth, and they went out in the woods where it looked like it landed and saw this weird alien thing that they described that looked like that. This is her, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Her, I guess. <laughs> it <laughs> looks like a lady. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's like a whole museum for it now in Sutton. I don't know if y'all have been to it. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. I've never seen like the Mothman statue. Oh, or yeah. Anything. It's cool. The festival is super fun. Yeah, I saw where you went and I saw yeah. your pictures. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other. Oh, is it. Is it the snapping turtle thing that's around the city? Yeah, um, in the Mon River. It's hard to pronounce, but Ogua, I think. It's like okay. O-G-U-A. And that's back from even like Native American stories, I guess. There is a t- giant two-headed turtle. Um, that one seems in the Mon more River, likely so. than... Yeah, everyone's always like, that seems impossible, <laughs> like a 20-foot the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When, hmm. when I moved in, when like my family moved into a house with a pond... Uh, probably when I was in the sixth grade and there was a giant snapping turtle, like as big as a car in the pond. Damn. Yeah. And I don't know if it actually existed or not, but there would be a shadow that would just lurk up near the surface and then it would disappear. And so me and my brothers were like, we're never going to that pond, but I'm pretty sure we could probably write a book about it and make a lot of money. Yeah. And I... Actually, we had a Not fourth if you brother. Tell it like that. Listen, <laughs> I'm an idea man. I cannot. I, I I had the idea for the post. You edited it together. <laughs> We're out here. <laughs> all right, you you used to come up with something interesting, Ashley. No, I'm good. That's all I have. <laughs> I've asked all my questions. I came. I just rapid fired a couple questions. Yeah. That's all I got. What's your favorite color? <laughs> purple. Purple. I do. Her hair's purple. been purple yeah. since I've started seeing her in town. Oh, yeah. I feel like that would be a reason for you to go say hello. Like, purple. I think I was forced to say hello because my kids attacked her sticker table. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. I think that's how we met. That my kids were like, like a- stickers. Yeah. <laughs> so having kids isn't all bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at Yeah. Yeah. See. And They're we sell cute. retro tinker. We do a lot of uh, similar events around yeah. town. Mm-hmm. Like we both do the handcrafted cooperative and stuff. Yeah. So do you just stickers and patches? Do you do like shirts or anything like that? Yeah, I've done some t-shirts and sweatshirts and um, prints of different sizes and like greeting cards and stuff like that. Hmm. Do people yeah, ever you did, like Valentine's cards? And stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> like West Virginia Mothman Valentine's Day cards. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to give a Valentine's Day card to, Josiah? His mother. She's very nice. 
well. <laughs> That's all that for me today. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josiah brought me a coffee today. I <laughs> really did. mean. It I'm, just felt right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're not getting a Valentine, that's for sure. You know, I did tell you that you get paid per Jed joke, not just oh, yeah. joke. Yeah, so you, I've, I've been you gotta calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I Double gotta that. save myself. <laughs> Do people ever see your art and come to you with like a band logo or a business logo and they're like, hey, can you do work? For me? Yeah, for right. sure. Yeah, I've done some uh, logos for people in town. You just did a beer thing, right? Yeah, I did a beer can design for Morgantown Brewery Company. Yeah, that's oh, really that's cool. Awesome. That's a yeah. big deal, yeah. too. That was mm-hmm. a lot of fun. I love working with them. Yeah, that's really cool. Is it out yet? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I think they sold out of them initially, but they just did some more of the cans. So So you've been able to make like a whole career out of this, right? You're not working another job or anything? Right, yeah. That's really awesome. As of like last spring, which that's is awesome. still Good crazy to me. Thank you. Yeah, that's difficult to do. Yeah, it's grown really fast, which has been kind of overwhelming. But I mean, I'm super grateful for all the support from everyone. But yeah, it's a lot to keep track of just like wholesale orders and online orders and all the mm-hmm. events and stuff. But it's really fun. Did you get a lot of people ordering from out of state? Yeah, surprisingly, there are Mothman fans everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy in Italy. They got one of the pins recently, and no he sent way, me a picture, really cool. and he was like, Mothman's protecting me. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's I was awesome. like, man, I've not even left this country ever, so my, my <laughs> stuff is <laughs> going everywhere. Huh. Yeah, I just sold something. I sold a necklace to a lady in the UK not that long ago. Yeah. And that that's was awesome. like a super big deal. I was that's like, awesome. Well, I've never left the country. Yeah. And I was like, that's so cool that somebody else yeah. is it's such randomly cool wearing my jewelry and the uk yeah mm-hmm. that's awesome yeah i was really excited whenever because we can look at like where people listen to the podcast mm-hmm. at yeah whenever when obviously whenever we first started it was just like west virginia pennsylvania uh-huh. around this area then it started spreading up and down the east coast and then we started getting hits like over and there's people that listen almost weekly over in like the uk that's so uh, cool. people that's in cool. you know australia like it's 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 cool to see other people that i don't know if it's just like the people that they're listening to or like especially like the regulars that that listen from those areas <laughs> wanting to know about West Virginia. Yeah. You know, cuz that's I mean, from living here it's not that exciting of a place, but it can be. So <laughs> Fortunately, there's so a lot of people. So you should probably just and, quit listening. No, and just stop here. don't listen to Ashley. We're very interesting people. We kind of suck as a whole. <laughs> Ash, man, we actually well, suck seventy five percent less with Jed not here. So that is true. there's that. If you don't know what a pepperoni roll is, oh yeah, mm-hmm. there's I never thought. Then, oh yeah, guess people that listen from out of state. Yeah, they might not know. Yeah. Or Mothman or any of that stuff. A pepperoni Apple roll butter. is a roll with pepperoni in it. It's, and and it's okay, fantastic. hold on. You downplayed that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, Listen. that was the shittiest description of a pepperoni roll I've ever heard. Okay, go for it. Okay, so it is pepperoni. It can be ground pepperoni or sliced pepperoni. We're going to have this debate after this of mm. what you prefer. Stick pepperoni? Stick pepperoni. It can be various types of pepperoni. Okay. Should have cheese. Can come with or without cheese. Okay. I prefer cheese. And so I didn't know this until I moved up north this way that there's people put sauce on it, like hot dog sauce on it. People put peppers on it, like mm-hmm. Oliverio peppers and stuff, yeah. which is a whole other conversation, Oliverio peppers. Um, and it's baked in bread. Yes. And it originated in Fairmont. Do you know, Do you know that? Yes. Okay. It was a food that women used to bake to put in their coal miners' lunch boxes because it could keep. That's true. See, I'm and very proud of you. And eat with one hand. Yeah, yeah and eat mm-hmm. with one hand. Yeah. Exactly. So very good. Also, just pepperoni. You look like you're about to try to prove me wrong. <laughs> no, <something>. no. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not really ready. <laughs> I was. I, I'm impressed that you knew all the history because I didn't have to say I like it. Food. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So preferences on pepperoni roll. Do you prefer ground, sticked, or sliced pepperoni? Let's just go around the table. We'll start with Liz. Um, I kind of, I don't know. It really depends like on the roll for me. But if I had to pick one, it'd probably be stick and it'd be like from tomorrow's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though there's no cheese in it when it's fresh, it's mm-hmm. the best one to me. I'm going to say I 
prefer the sliced pepperoni. And then second would be ground pepperoni. And the reason that ground pepperoni is not the best is sometimes it's just too much pepperoni. I like mm-hmm. I like the bread, like a fluffy bread and cheese baked into it also. Mm-hmm. So I enjoy the sliced. And then stick is last because if you take one bite out of the stick pepperoni, because my dad prefers the stick. The whole he, thing he always gets out. that. I get all yeah. the sticks out at once. <laughs> Maybe I'm just bad at it, but that's just <laughs> that's my own personal preference. I think it just depends on where or who made it. Yeah, right. That's yeah. true. Like donut shop in Buchanan. Exactly. Hands down. Some of the best pepperoni rolls, but it's ground pepperoni. Yeah. And I like the fluffier so pepperoni. That reminds pepperoni me. I want to talk about your roll. snacking page <clears throat> before, yeah. we, before we end this. So You'll we, enjoy this. What do you prefer? Okay. So I had Whenever never... you're not throwing it across the, the yeah. kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> there was no meat involved in I, that. <laughs> just bread. And my finger has healed quite nicely. Good. 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 <laughs> uh, I had always only ever had sliced pepperoni or stick pepperoni, and it was either homemade that my parents, my mom made, mm-hmm. or gas station pepperoni rolls, because I grew up in a really small town. There were there was only one restaurant, and they didn't have pepperoni rolls. Mm-hmm. So, was it McDonald's? No, we didn't have fast food. <laughs> we didn't even have a stoplight. Oh. No, it's the like... Traffic report on the news. Was if you cough while you're driving through, you're going to miss it. Like, oh. yeah. So, this chair is so squeaky. I prefer ground pepperoni, and I had never had it until actually a couple weeks ago when somebody brought Paul a pepperoni roll to work, and he brought it home, and let me have a bite, and it was so good because it gets really greasy. Yeah, it mm-hmm. traps all yeah. the grease in there. Yeah, yeah. I never had it till recently too, but I went to the donut really shop good. finally and mm-hmm. got it there with cheese, and they like warmed it up. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh They're my so god, the gooey there. cheese on top of that greasy ground pepperoni. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you like the bread to be? Like almost toasted or just like, I like baked it, bread? Because I, I prefer the soft bread. I like it soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. Okay. Like, yeah, so I don't I, want yeah. it to be dry all the way mm-hmm. through, but I also want it to be warmed up. I want it to be squishy. like um, a Texas roadhouse roll. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. that, like a little that level sweet. of softness yep. and then just like pepperonis inside with the grease. I love how this is such a serious conversation. Yeah. <laughs> right like I, I appreciate so this conversation. Staple. Don't get yeah. me started on the correct way to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because we could talk about that for hours. What? As well. You put the peanut butter and jelly on the outside. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll skip this. This is a discussion for another day. But a lot, a lot goes into that. I could say the Man, most disappointing no thing about leaving the state is going into like a gas station mm-hmm. and looking for pepperoni rolls. And really, you just yeah, don't think not. about it. Uh, yeah. It's so they had to pass like a whole law here so mm-hmm. that you you could do that, which mm-hmm. I just love so much. Uh huh. Like we went to Tennessee. My parents live in Tennessee, and we'd stop at a gas station, and Paul would be like, "You want anything?" I'm like, "Just grab me a pepperoni roll." And he's like, "Nope." nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mailed them to my friend that moved to Florida. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Sad. <laughs> okay, so well, we're, oh, your snacking page. Yeah, she has an Instagram page that is completely devoted to new snacks that she tries <laughs> and rating them That's and amazing. reviewing them. Ooh, and what is this? I like religiously <laughs> I follow, follow this, this page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, fun. hey, Paul, let's try this new Kit Kat bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of this? I'm following it because that sounds awesome. It's just Snack King on Instagram. There's like an underscore and a period in there, but I enjoy it a good up. pun. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you got it. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to be like just snack, not you know, no just on there, but of course it was taken by someone, oh, so yes. I had to make it something. Else. A, a just snack queen. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it looks so professional. Like thanks. <laughs> Seriously, like Daniel's like these. My snacks do not look this good. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't wait to take pictures of his snacks. That's the hardest part is like waiting to eat the stuff yeah. till I take pictures. I'm like, God, this is so stupid. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I've never even seen how. Wait, honey bun fucking cereal? Yeah. yeah. What? I know. She finds all hell? this stuff that I don't There's buy. so much weird shit nowadays. I can't even try like half of it, honestly. I have to be like, no, I can't buy any more of this insane stuff. <laughs> because there's like just me and my husband, too. We have these giant family sized cereal boxes of like <laughs> donut cereal. <laughs> We're definitely a cereal family. Yeah. Like, that's my weakness is cereal. I love all cereal. Yeah. Um, okay, amazing. so. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going through the. Is there, is apple butter exclusive to West Virginia? Is that a West Virginia thing? I don't know that it's just here. I mean, I know a lot of people in state have, like, family traditions of making and stuff. Because there's, but... like, Smucker's makes a really crappy Yeah, apple I guess it's probably all it's throughout awful. Appalachia and. But yeah, I feel like it's 
more of like a rural thing, just like mm-hmm. having apple butter, like Anywhere canning apple. stuff. It's probably yeah. Midwest canning too. Canning stuff, yeah. yeah. Because I grew up in Dodge County, like I said, and Salem has an apple butter festival. Right. Yeah. I've never gotten to go to that. I want to. And I didn't know that other places had an apple butter festival. I thought it was like strictly a Salem thing. Like there's the buckwheat festival in Preston the County. Blackberry yeah. Festival. Yeah. And there's the I, strawberry a festival. A jar of blackberries. Like I made toast. And then I found that the jar of blackberries had two, 2014 on it. <laughs> but I probably picked those myself, to be honest. And my mom... Mm-hmm canned it and it stays like oh, forever oh, but, yeah, yeah. okay preserved. you made it sound like you just found this moldy jar of blackberries <laughs> in your fridge gosh we, if you can and it doesn't count what the date says yeah well it still counts God, what the date Josiah. says ashley everything i do is wrong today <laughs> except i have the, a whole new respect for your husband you probably <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot of people say that <laughs> You probably saved my life with this coffee, though. I probably did. I was shaking yeah. when I got in here. My sugar dropped, like, right as I got into Fairmont. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to be late, which was totally the wrong decision. I should have just been late and stopped the candy yeah. bar. <laughs> like, like, my professionalism was going to go out the window if I stopped to get a candy bar to raise my sugar. Yeah. But I, I showed up, and I was planning on just grabbing a pop out of the fridge, but Josiah brought me a Duncan. It's very, very sweet. Duncan, local, only to Fairmont. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan local talent. <laughs> Wasted local Duncan. Yeah. Got way off track here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I would well, expect nothing less. We were rolling right along and yeah. Ashley started antagonizing me. <laughs> <laughs> Did I, you have anything you'd like to say about your business before we destroy your podcast? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been good. Um, Be careful I mean, I don't what think you say because so. she's going to make fun of whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Not her. I like her. Okay. <laughs> no, I appreciate you guys having me on. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Well, how long have we been on this? We're still. Oh my gosh, we're it's still, only been like a half an hour, right? Yeah. yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we still have like thirty minutes. To what, on do you have somewhere yeah. to be? Uh, I mean, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I scheduled this into it. I can fit you guys in today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate. It. Do you have any other insults you'd like to hurl at me? I'll I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can come up with something before time's up. So when you're not drawing pictures and making stickers and being artistic, rating what do you, food. What do you? Yeah, rating food. <laughs> you're very diverse. What do you? What do you do with your time? Um, that takes up most of it. I'm usually packing up packages and going to the post office. Otherwise, but uh, I also run a tape label with my husband, a like cassette record label. Um, oh. Obviously, also digital music, like on Bandcamp. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we've been doing that since 2010. Working with artists like all over the world, just really small bands and mostly doing like small tape releases. And that's yeah, really cool. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so that's mostly it <laughs> eating food and <laughs> doing events and stuff. <laughs> I didn't know they were still yeah. doing cassette, like cassette tapes. The, yeah. Yeah. The first thing I ever owned was a cassette tape. I got it for Christmas. The well, first awesome. thing you ever owned in general? That I remember. I was young. Yeah. That's like, cool. With mm-hmm. a Walkman. Nice. Yeah. Man, that was, those were the days. Yeah, I remember getting, like, the Macarena on tape. What was your first cassette tape? Was it the Macarena? Yeah. Yeah. Mine was Jesus Freak. Are you surprised? <laughs> Are you surprised? No, because I, the... I knew it was going to be something like that. My mom asked me if this was a character you played. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I fake? <laughs> oh, my God. She goes, is he, like, oh, is that, like, a real thing? <laughs> This is or, I think she asked me if you were a real preacher. I think that might have been it. And I'm I was not like, no, a he's not. Well, you said something about like some kind of camp or something that you had done. And I think she thought you meant like you were a pastor. No. And and she was like, or is this like a joke? And I was like, oh no, that's really just <laughs> <laughs> Hi Ashley's mom. I'm glad I entertain you. <laughs> I can she, tell where I, your daughter gets it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a real question. She wasn't making fun of you. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I get people that ask me stuff like that all the time. They're just like, what? What? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, okay. So we were talking in the, on our message the other, yesterday or whenever it was about first impressions that we made on each other. Yeah. And like, they kept telling me that you were like, they, they I don't think they used the word nice Christian boy, but that's essentially the, the worst person that you'll ever meet is. I believe, well, that was what? also a thing because <laughs> I kept saying that you seem nice and they were like, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> So I just kept waiting for this asshole, and you bring me food and drinks, and you're not. I'm 
terrible most of so the time. Josiah is a good person. Josiah doesn't hold back whenever he's going to go after you. So he will truth. he will sit and wait and find the one thing well, that lying hurts the is most. A sin. Yeah, I don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> and then he will attack you for it. Just like the other day, whenever we were playing video games, With and you and Eric got into it, and you're both the same way, except for Eric's just a dick all the time. Eric's like, Josiah <clears throat> hates me. I'm like, no, I just hate it when you talk. Yeah. And it's just <laughs> rifting back and forth. And I was like, all right, kids. Michael to told me he's a good two. person. So I'll believe Michael's <laughs> judgment. But I have yet to see it. No, he actually talked to me last night. He's like, does Josiah hate me? And I was like, I think so. <laughs> He's like, I was just joking around. I was like, yeah, but sometimes you come off like you're not joking around. But the same with you, Josiah. Sometimes you come off like you're not joking around, especially whenever you're not right in front of you and it's just voice chat. So <laughs> I don't actually joke around. I just yeah. tell the truth. All right. What's your, what was your first cassette tape that you remember owning? Poof. Poof? Or VHS. Do you remember a VHS maybe that you owned? Because I had... The first VHS that I remember buying myself was the Matrix. But I, I had Hard Hat Harry, and he went through and described all the trucks and construction <laughs> stuff. Do you remember Hard Hat Harry? No. No. Oh, man, he had all this song, these songs. He had a song about a crane, and I love that song. No, I don't remember what the first one <laughs> was. I just The one distinct memory that I have of having like a Walkman and like a cassette player is whenever the batteries were dying, oh. and it would start. the music would start kind of slowing down. Yeah. And like demonic sounding. Yeah. But yeah, I don't times. really remember what my first cassette was. Honestly, I can't really remember. I got two. My mom bought me a cassette player, <clears throat> and she bought me two cassettes with it. And it, one was Shania Twain, and one was Eric Clapton. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I was a cool little kid. I bet. No, I was <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Did you see where Ed Sheeran's on that new Eminem song? What? That song is... Different, but you know, it's fantastic. So, Liz, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. the cassette and things like that. Um, the you said you have bands from like all over that are signed yeah. to that, yeah. Are you looking for more? <laughs> <laughs> We're always accepting demos. Mm -hmm. We actually work with a lot of people that just send us demos that mm -hmm. have like heard other stuff we've put out and are like, oh, you know, this seems like the kind of stuff you'll work with or whatever so we meet a lot of people that way so do you like sign people to like a like no thing, they're or? not yeah it's not really so much that we, i mean we work out a deal with each release like they get so many copies of the tape and then mm -hmm. percentage of the like digital royalties or whatever streams whatever you want to say oh, but we really don't have cool. like a signed roster of artists you know they can work with other labels because it's all really diy mm -hmm. stuff but. so where do you get your cassettes from now like there's a like one main place now in the U.S. that makes them mm -hmm. in the Midwest. Um, really? Just yeah, one? National Audio Company. That's sad. Yeah, that's where CDs are going. Yeah, mm -hmm. it takes like I guess such kind of like obscure materials to make the tapes, and mm -hmm. there was like a shortage recently even of the the ferric oxide or whatever. Oh wow, <laughs> which is bizarre to think about nowadays. But I see a lot more bands, um, especially whenever I like ran my venue in Clarksburg, that they'd have on their merch table like almost. Like 90% of the bands would have a cassette. Yeah. You know, I feel it's like a fun it's, merch, like souvenir thing, yeah. especially if it's like five bucks or something, you know, maybe six dollars at a mm -hmm. merch table, people can get it. And we usually have like a download code with it. So you can mm -hmm. download, obviously, like the digital files and mm -hmm. listen to it that way. And then you just have kind of like a souvenir fun thing. And I mean, hopefully a lot of people actually <laughs> listen to it on tape. But mm -hmm. I know a lot of people like listen in their car because they have a tape player in mm -hmm. there, which is cool. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't think about with those older cars, cars anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, and that kind of sucks. Like not like anything past a certain day, you're not gonna have a tape player. Yeah, and you can't just really go out and buy the one, last car you know? we had. Yeah, was a 2017 Buick Encore, and it was like really nice. We outgrew it, but it didn't have a CD player in it. Yeah, and like we thought, we just couldn't find it. We were like pushing all the buttons, thinking something was going to like flip out and open up, and there was going to be a CD player behind it. Nope, no CD player. Just yeah, no that's always weird. And Paul has like a two thousand CD collection. Oh man! Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, no, <laughs> yeah. I have to have a CD player yeah. in the car. 
Wasn't yeah. like they used to make those ones where you had to like get into the trunk and load your CDs into the uh, right. Like, the yeah, I was gonna say. I remember my parents' whatever. truck had like the five disc changer in the back that I oh, was yeah, responsible I for my like mom getting investing out. in like yeah. a twelve disc changer. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. And it was like, but that was like the, that coolest was the coolest shit. Yeah, that was when like you knew someone's parents were like rich when they had like a huge disc changer. We used to have like the. Our home stereo had one that was yeah six, yeah six, I was gonna say like days, the the spinning were, one yep. yeah <laughs> you had to remember where like, which CD was in which one yeah. though which was super <laughs> yeah. annoying it wasn't even actually that convenient mm-hmm. <laughs> I had gave up on us <laughs> hey <laughs> <laughs> that's all I had to say no I'm here so what you doing <laughs> <laughs> awkward silence. <laughs> Why do we always do this? Why does always. It always just gets off topic. I know, and she then was like, it's, I might be an awkward guest. And I was like, no, no, it, it'll be fine. It's awkward. always <laughs> awkward. It doesn't matter who yeah. the guest is. <laughs> then we get episodes like last week where we had eight people total in here last week. Damn. And it was just, I wasn't it was invited. so easy. Huh? You were. <laughs> oh. oh, no, they, they canceled the one week and then we did it on the off week. Um, so I didn't have enough microphones. They had to pass around a hand mic. Nobody it was even pretty told funny. me about it. <laughs> it was lit. It's, well. it's, it was wild. <clears throat> anyway. I filled up most of the schedule that we're currently working on, but nobody wants to invite me to the fun stuff. <laughs> Do you want to come to the no. thing like last week? <laughs> okay. We have one at 4 o'clock, too. Do you want to come? <laughs> I scheduled that one, too. It's a friend of mine, too. <laughs> we grew up together. Yeah. yeah. So do you have any uh, anything <laughs> coming up? Um like any events that you're going to be doing um, or yes. any new like, designs <laughs> that you're coming <laughs> coming out with? Um, yeah, there are some events coming up this spring. I'm trying to think of them all right now. I know there's some stuff in town. Like February 8th is the Dead of Winter West Virginia Beer Fest at Bruco um, that I'm going to be vending at, and it should be a lot of fun. I think they're having beer from a bunch of different breweries and doing some fun events. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. Are you doing the handcrafted cooperative at all this year? I applied to it today, actually, so we'll I see. I haven't applied yet. Yeah, it just, I think, opened up, like, yesterday Yeah, I saw, I saw the email, but yeah. I haven't applied yet. Yeah, hopefully. I'm poor. I don't have application money. Yeah. Yeah, when table is that? fees. The... the first one is in... She does, like, May? four a year. April? Mm-hmm. April 25th, I think, is the first one. Right. Yeah, they're, like, spring, yeah. One. spring, summer, and fall. Yeah. yeah, three or four a year. It's a really nice event too. I've yeah. talked about it on here before. It's really nice. Yeah, I've never been to it. So what all what all does that like involve like the It's just a bunch of different vendors in the Morgantown like farmers market pavilion. Um But and, there's like a screening process. Like yeah. it's not just whoever signs up comes. Like mm-hmm. she really you have to fill out this really in depth application. Yeah. And she really she handpicks. It is curated she, really well. Yeah. yeah. She puts a lot of effort into it. Like there's live music and there's food trucks and yeah. it's really nice. Mm. And yeah. like everybody has like a certain aesthetic that she kind of asks <clears throat> you to keep so that everything looks nice and mm-hmm. is presented well. And yeah. who who heads that up? Her name's Megan Ursick. Yeah. Um she she does workshops and stuff in town at Lisa Giuliani's place, mm-hmm. um, Lockhouse Studio. Yeah. Okay. And she does like little handcrafted workshops and stuff, and she runs the handcrafted cooperative. <laughs> and it's really nice because I meet people like Liz at these things and like um, Hannah from Hannah's Clay Creations, mm-hmm. like a lot of these people. We all meet each other because we're doing a lot of the simil- these similar events where you're not up against people that are selling $5 pieces of jewelry or... Right. You know, mass marketed things like it's people that are ma- like taking their time and putting out handcrafted things yeah. that are really, really nice and well made things. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's awesome to go to for like mm-hmm. doing gift shopping. It's like you can get everything there. There's so <laughs> much cool stuff. I always want everything. <laughs> yeah. So I think like every like local designer or anybody that does like kind of like what you're doing or any kind of crafts and stuff always talks about it. And I've never actually been up there. <clears throat> It's the most so. well put together thing in the area. I definitely yeah. think so. Yeah. She puts a lot of effort into it. Yeah, for sure. You can't look. I said a lot right there. <laughs> like, that's all I have. You can't both just stare at me and expect me to get- I'm just going to drink my Dunkin'. <laughs> Did you get vanilla or thin mint? Vanilla. Ooh, okay. I don't know. You bought it for me. I. I got multiple flavors. Yeah. Uh, Not squirrel. (laughs) (laughs) Squirrel. 
<laughs> it was West Virginia. That's a little too far. <laughs> squirrel gravy. <laughs> Vanilla squirrel. Yeah. Mm. I love squirrel gravy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real thing, by the way. That wasn't a joke. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever tried on your... Um, oh, just... Wait, I'm trying to remember. I'm, what? The, the, I'm trying to remember the name of it. The Just Taste Queen. Just or, snacking. Snacking. Okay, listen. I want to hear you more. You know of the how bad ones. I am with names. <laughs> I'm terrible. Just Taste Queen. Yeah. Just, you should really try the French vanilla squirrel. And yeah. The squirrel. The chocolate vanilla squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> the chocolate really keeps all the juices <laughs> inside. Ew. Um, I don't, the weirdest, I mean, probably the, the toilet soda candy that I did what? recently on there. I did you put that. it on a toilet or did it come <laughs> out of a toilet? I guess it kind of came out of a toilet. It was, a friend got me this Japanese, um, I mean, it's called toilet candy, but you just put together a plastic toilet and then it has like a powder that you put in and you add water and it foams up and it's like soda flavored. There's like a cola flavored one was and you stir it with this good? little straw and then you drink it out of the toilet. <laughs> It was actually better tasting than I expected, but I mean, of course, really sugary and uh, yeah. I think you did meth. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it felt really drug-like. Honestly, there's like the tiny plastic straw and like powder. I don't know. I can't. I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me. But I couldn't read the box, so it's in Japanese. You try a lot of weird hot dogs too. Yeah, like, yeah. I always enjoy seeing the hot dogs that you eat because you're very brave. Thanks. I'm just. When I we do takeout night every Saturday, that's our thing at the house. Is, yeah, and we try to do like small businesses around town rather than chains and stuff. Yeah, and like I just don't really want to usually feel like risking wasting my. Takeout no, I know what you mean. It's always like when I go to a place where there's something I love. It's like ah, I really like that thing, and you never know if you're gonna like the new thing you're trying. Yeah, like I have yet to try the peanut butter and banana burger at Tailpipes. I actually haven't either. I really want to. <laughs> like. I'm just afraid, like, but, and I really love food, so it's usually, yeah. like, even if I don't care for it, I can usually finish it. Yeah, it just might not be your favorite. Or yeah. Whatever. yeah, but, like, sometimes I'm just like, man, but do I want to risk not liking right. dinner tonight? I know like, what you mean. Do I want to spend <laughs> Because you care about food so much, you're like, yeah. yeah, I could also really enjoy it all. Yeah. You need to try it with yeah. friends. Right, that's what, yeah, my husband and I are just, like, split stuff all the time so we can try things. We did yeah. that with the but, new um, all-plant burger from burger king oh yeah we yeah. brought it into gurus of gaming and we split it like five different ways the impossible burger that's it yeah i tried that one it was okay yeah i mean it's burger king so yeah. i just don't like burger king I yeah i just don't like the, i'm not a huge fan it tastes like their girls dirty well, like yeah they and they had a veggie burger before because i was actually a vegetarian for a long time and they had just like an actual veggie burger for years that was pretty good that had actual like pieces of vegetable in it and stuff and didn't taste like a dirty grill like you're saying but I don't I know. I like uh, Beyond Burgers. Yeah. They're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, The Impossible was disappointing after all the hype I, I heard about it. it. It was, like, super dry, oh. in my opinion. Yeah. Like, my humor. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. We lost Daniel, too. We're just losing people one at a time. It's okay. It is what it is. Driving people away. All right, so can you give us, like, a... Can you do you know like off the top of your head all of the characters that you make? Oh, the cryptids. Mm -hmm. um, I've done Grafton Monster, Flatwoods Monster, Bat Boy, Mothman. Oh, Bat Boy, yes. Yeah. I forgot about that you do Bat Boy because the picture that you use of Bat or like the similar picture, uh, Paul had tattooed on somebody that didn't know who Bat Boy was. They drew it out of a Get What You Get machine. Oh, Lord. Just like his face. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. And it was like right after he did that, I saw your Bat Boy sticker. Nice. And I was like, that is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love Bat Boy. I think most 90s kids remember his face from the tabloids. Mm -hmm. Like every oh, yeah. checkout aisle forever. <laughs> screaming. I, well, I remember it being in the tabloids, but I didn't know that it was a West was, Virginia thing. Oh, yeah. Because I wasn't allowed to read it. My mom was like, don't look at that. Really? Don't yeah. watch some Veggie Tales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, my mom loved it. We usually bought copies, I think. But oh. yeah, he's like supposedly found in a cave mm -hmm. in West Virginia. Yeah. There's yeah. like a musical that I still haven't seen that's a Bat Boy musical. Really? Yeah. Yep. I've heard I it's really good and extremely weird. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> Which you'd probably I imagine. Would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I know there, I forget um, what the, it's called, but I know in West Virginia there was a thing where this three year old died. And they buried him, and like fifty years later, his coffin just like burst open, and he was not decayed at all. And that was that was a big headline thing in West Virginia. 
Yeah, Didn't I don't know if um, I got that one. the uh, the people who did the Merritt and Karen? Yeah, the Merritt and did, Karen uh, podcast. Did oh, okay. Yeah, they did, did like an episode or a couple of episodes on that. Yeah, they did like uh, a whole special on just how scientists could not figure out why <laughs> this child was perfectly preserved like he That's was. That's weird. Yeah, it was weird. Mm-hmm. Did it like mummify at all? Uh, it's a mystery. I, was, I, was, I would think if it wouldn't decay, it would start to like mummify, right? Mm, I have no idea. They said it looked like they just buried him. That's so weird. Yeah. Crazy. And then... That, he was talking about Merritt and Karen, the co-ed murders. Did, have you done anything artistically? Like, I know that's a I big thing I didn't even know anything about that until, like, a couple years ago. Somebody mentioned it to me. Yeah, you need to listen to, the, to their podcast on it. It's really good. Yeah, I just heard a few episodes of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't done anything related to that, but one of my band songs was on one of those episodes, like, ages ago. But, yeah, I haven't done any art Is it, about that. Uh, just Blosser. Um, what's his name? From uh, Cody, yeah, um, I know. Band? Um, you mean Captain Catfish? Yeah, I know they've had at least one song in it. Mm-hmm. We probably were on the same episode as them, but mm-hmm. mine was the fur. Was my band that was okay? On there. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's a crazy story. Yeah. So you have a, you have a band yourself? Yeah. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Yeah. We should. So diverse. I know. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, we don't play as much as we used to. Everyone's mm-hmm. busy, but what's your? I get that instrument. Definitely. Drums. Ooh. It's exciting. Yeah. And have you guys? That's so cool. Thanks. Bring your full band on sometime. Yeah, and, that would be fun. And do that. That'd be fun. Yeah. Because <clears throat> yeah, I remember that episode where they, like, whenever, because I, I know Cody um, from whenever I had my venue in Clarksburg. Okay. And they played there a few cool. times. And I was just listening to it. And I had met somebody from the podcast two years ago at uh, PopCon. Okay, and that's how I kind of got introduced to their um, their podcast. I was listening to it, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's Captain Catfish!" And I remember like most of the bands that were on there. So yeah, um, that's cool. <clears throat> Have you had Captain Catfish on? No, I haven't. Okay, but I need to because that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, they're like super a, into cryptids, obviously. Too. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Because they had the the their song about the the murders. He lives like pretty close to. Where all that took place to, I think, from what I can remember. Yeah, from see, it. I still okay. really don't know much about it. I just mm-hmm. have like every time I ask somebody, they're like, "Oh, you need to look it up." Just and don't. I'm ha- like, "All right, well, I'm not going to remember to until somebody <laughs> talks about yeah. this again." Don't go hitchhiking is you know general yeah. <laughs> yeah. lesson learned here. Don't hitchhike. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. do you have any plans? Like, are you looking at anything right now and thinking, "Gosh, I'd like to draw that and sell it." Like, do you have anything on the horizon that you're maybe experimenting with? Um, probably. I mean, definitely going to do more cryptids and probably expand more outside of West Virginia ones. There are still more here, like, in-state that I want to do, but um, I want to do some better well-known ones like Jersey Devil and stuff. I don't know. You um, could do, like, a cool Seneca Rocks or, like, landmarks of West Virginia yeah, kind of thing. That would yeah, be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, yeah, I want to do more of, like, the weird animals in state, too. Um, there's, like, a flying squirrel in West Virginia mm-hmm. that's endangered. It's super cute. I'd like to do a it's sticker so or something. so cute. Yeah. I remember having, um, uh, my dad had, like, a hunting tree stand, like, way up in the woods when I was a kid. And every year, flying squirrels would make uh-huh. nests in there. That's awesome. So, and he had, like, a cord that he had hooked up from the tree stand and like all the way down on the ground so he could shake that cord and it would bounce the tree stand around and all the flying squirrels would fly out <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't have to like go up there and mess yeah, with them mm, that's so he awesome. would shake that tree stand and like four flying squirrels would just be like that's so cute <laughs> like tiny little cat mans <laughs> flying out of his that's awesome. now do you have any of your uh, mothman stuff down in any stores around that area? Yeah, there are some of the places in Point Pleasant that carry it. The Mothman Museum mm-hmm. and um, Point Pleasant Trading That's Company. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. They're super nice and awesome people there. I've always wanted to go down there. and I've, Yeah, I've never gone. Yeah, I've never been The museum's there. super cool yeah. and the festival's awesome. It's crazy busy, but there's mm-hmm. like so many people making cool Mothman stuff and fun things to do. I remember writing this huge essay on Mothman when I was in like seventh grade science class. Yeah. And like I 
my brain's pretty crispy at this point. Yeah. I can't remember a whole lot of anything. See, I did an eighth grade thing on the Hatfields and the McCoys, but I probably couldn't tell you very much. Yeah. I know. I, I feel like I've read that story so many times. I remember I'm just like, it was like a four page essay because it was like a big science project thing. And yeah. I don't remember what I wrote about, but I remember yeah. like having this huge essay and I had all this information on Mothman and I just I'm gone. Yeah. I can't remember any of it now. I'm just like, yep. Yeah. Big moth looking dude. It's <laughs> pretty much the extent of my knowledge. That's about the gist of it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I had like yeah. all these like citing things that right. I had like written about and stuff. I don't know what any of it was. Yeah. So I've, my, I've but I definitely still remember done that. The Veggie Tales song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saving that space for important stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had one of those moments just yesterday where do you remember Pappy Land? Yes. Yes. I knew every single word to that song, like, off the it? top of my head. There's this guy. His oh, name wait, was Pappy. I saw somebody post yeah. a meme yeah. about that the other day that went around. But mm. his name was Pappy Drew It, and he drew Pappy Land, and you two can do it when you're in Pappy Land. So. <laughs> but I knew all the words to the song, and I was like, this was in 1993. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I was singing, do you guys know the song Grundy County Auction? I, mm-mm. Jason Michael Montgomery. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got that song randomly stuck in my head the other day. So of course I had to make, I had to play it. So we're like driving down the road, and Paul's sitting in the passenger seat, and he's never heard this song. Yeah. And I started playing it, and I remembered every word on point. Like yeah. I sang that song perfectly, and it is a ridiculous song. Yeah, it's like an actual like auctioneer type yes. song. I know. <laughs> I, have to, I almost did the same thing with my husband too because it came on somewhere recently, and like my friends and I all knew it because my mom is super into country music, and he was just like, "What is going I on?" Know. I was just staring at him. I was like, God, imagine like the real knowledge I could have. If yeah. This stuff wasn't in my brain. That's always what I think. <laughs> you yeah. have a doctorate oh if they taught everything through music. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 90s oh, country yeah. music. I remember so, like, my mom helping me study in middle school and making up a song about how an octopus was a mollusk and to picture it with a mullet so I could remember. And like, I remember this shit that I'm never, ever, ever going to need to know that an octopus is a mollusk. <laughs> but I have this image in my head of an octopus with a mullet. That is a mollusk. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know how to do my own taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the things I could do if I had real knowledge of real world things. We just nope. need to get you a, a, the tax song. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be helpful. It would be the worst song. First, you're going to have to get her a song with like how to remember her password to log in <laughs> yeah. and then the yeah. tax song. I hope it's by John Michael Montgomery. It, password. it told me my name or my address or my social security number was wrong, but it won't tell me which one. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. It's, security it reasons. Won't, it won't give me any clues, but they're all right. I know all these things. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, I even tried my maiden name. Nope. Nothing. And then I tried so many times, it was like, just stop. Like, try, try another day. It's okay. Maybe next time. Maybe after I have six hundred dollars in fines for not paying my minimal eleven hundred dollars in taxes. Yeah, you can do it. I believe in you. I told you just go down to the courthouse and just beat on some doors until they'll take your money. Yeah, just with like a stack of cash. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> I told Paul, I was like, maybe I should have some money ready to pay them next time I call because I just called and then I was like, I don't really have a game plan as an answer because <laughs> I don't have any money to pay them right now. But I just wanted to complain that I can't pay them yeah. if I did have money. <laughs> so, did you guys know that an octopus is a mollusk? Wait, had a mullet? I don't think I knew that, technically. Yeah. An mm. octopus is a mollusk. I knew about the octopus that the guy saw in the field with the suction tip fingers that were trying to suck the blood. <laughs> that was a celery stalk. Okay. <laughs> so you're were next, you maybe there? A <laughs> so your next design needs to be an octopus with a mullet. Yeah. That sounds <clears throat> pretty awesome, actually. But make sure it doesn't look too much like a squid billies type thing. Right. Uh, uh, thing true. Be like, you know, true. Obviously, squid's an octopus. Yeah. But, yeah. But... Because whenever you first said that, that's the first thing that came to my mind was, yeah, squidbillies. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can do like a whole science thing for kids that to remember awesome. their their animals. I should. That's the only one I remember. <clears throat> that an octopus was a mollusk. Is a squid a mollusk? I don't know. I said I. That's the only what I, one I remember. Because squids have beaks, right? Do uh, do octopus they have, do beaks? have beaks? I don't think so. It's a bird. Beaks. I don't know. <laughs> the birds have feathers. Wait. What that's about dinosaurs? This is all stuff we should 
probably look up before we do. Yeah. We should do a fact check at the end of every episode. <laughs> we need, that, this, is, this is where we miss Jed, because Jed... You, he well, knows he, all he, this stuff. Yeah, he used to actually, like, if I would talk about something, he would... He would go, oh, like, look it, it up. Yeah, we should do that. Sure. I listen to Dak Shepard's podcast, and <clears> they do a fact check at the end of every episode. <clears> oh. So we're not just, like, feeding people a bunch of bullshit that we <laughs> make up as we way. talk. It's more fun this way. Yeah. You know what? If you have any questions... Google it. <laughs> <laughs> the internet's out there for a reason. Yeah. Use it. Do if you believe everything website. you hear on the internet, then you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pick whichever website suits you best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of Dax Shepard, I was watching The Ranch before I got here. Wait, I've only seen like four episodes of the season, so I'm not, I haven't finished it. Don't okay, that's anything. about where I am. Okay. But it's, it's great. I love that show. I do too. I do too. Yeah. Okay, that's all. <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So, octopuses with mullets and new sticker designs. Squid is a bird. No, it's not. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it is. <laughs> but I guess I really can't confidently say that it is not. <laughs> <laughs> but I can confidently say that an octopus is a mollusk. What if it's not in your whole life? And I just remembered it wrong. <laughs> Listen, do you ever have a dream about something and you think? That this is, it's a memory, not mm-hmm. a dream. That happened to me a lot, yeah. Yeah. Like, I had this, apparently I had a dream when I was a kid that my mom owned an iguana. And I mentioned this iguana, like, maybe a couple years ago. And I said something about the iguana and the giant tank that my mom had this iguana in. And she goes, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the big iguana that you had. Because, like, I remembered it p- perfectly. I can picture this huge iguana aquarium thing. Are you sure that wasn't from the magic school bus? <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the little iguana? I don't remember the iguana's name. Was it an iguana? I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Did you see <clears throat> that in Florida right now, it's cold enough that they have an iguana warning? That they're like oh, they're falling, like falling out, trees. out of the trees and no. striking people as they fall because... <laughs> They can't regulate their own body temperature. And they're just, they're just popping down passing out, like a, falling, yeah. <laughs> like little iguana sickles. So if you're listening in chest. Florida, you might not know what a pepperoni roll is, but <laughs> take an umbrella outside with you, for goodness sake. <laughs> there are iguanas raining down. On that. It's raining iguanas. <laughs> oh, Man, it sounds like it would hurt getting hit in the face with one. <laughs> I have no comment. Because I've never been hit in the face with an iguana or a mollusk. Is an iguana a mollusk? <laughs> I don't believe an iguana's a mollusk. <laughs> have you ever been hit in the face with a mullet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have. I think so. They're coming back. I know. Yeah. Hardcore. I had a mullet sure. back when I was a kid. I did too. I aspired to be like <laughs> MacGyver when I grew up. <laughs> MacGyver had the coolest mullet. I love MacGyver. Mine wasn't a good one. It wasn't like a she's pulling it off mullet. <laughs> like, it was a she definitely cut her own hair mullet. Fucking MacGyver. MacGyver was the This man. podcast is all over the fucking place. <laughs> I think <It's> for- <laughs> what we have established is that we're all getting old. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone under 25 listening it's to gonna this be bored has as f- no yeah. idea what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, listen to these old ass Wow, floppy disk? They like skip ahead? Floppy disk, yeah. Talking Just about magic school yeah. bus? They're Jesus. Googling. They're like, hey, Alexa, what's a floppy disk? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Gosh. We need to get it all out there. A Chia Pet? Mm. Like... Tamagotchi. Did I was just about to say Tamagotchi. Yeah. Yeah. Furbies. Yes. Furbies. <laughs> Pogs. Oh my God. Have you guys Pogs. seen the what? guy who took the Furbies? And wired it into a piano. Yeah, and it what? was like almost like an organ. Yeah, style. it's like a Furby he's, organ. He's got it. St- so every time and they he all sing. The thing and it would, dude, it's, <laughs> it's fucking awesome. creepy, but it's amazing. I, those things were creepy. I yeah. remember having one that started ringing, like my phone. Every time the phone would ring, oh my it was God. like bring, bring, and my mom was like, turn it off. Yeah, they were so scary. I wasn't allowed to have them because they're probably possessed by demons. They yeah, so well, lot, yeah, a lot of people thought they were at least like government surveillance things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now, and now everyone's everybody's like, holding hey, their Alexa. smartphone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, look at my forward-facing camera. Isn't yeah. that cool? <laughs> Alexa, what's my social security number? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, can you log me in so I can pay my taxes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This will be the last episode that I do. But if you guys would like to visit me, I would probably be at Hazleton. <laughs> <laughs> We're shipping you to Alcatraz. It's federal. I don't want to go back to Doddridge County. 
Alcatraz, Alcatraz San Francisco. Is, yeah, it's not in Dodgers County. No, I'm saying there's a jail in Dodgers <laughs> yeah. County. Oh, okay, I got you. But I would imagine... This <laughs> Daniel resort, knows about it. Resort, oh, yeah. No, I went to... I went, mine was in closer to Alcatraz. I know fucking Alcatraz is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I joke. really think I thought Alcatraz was in the No, I knew. It's just how the conversation went. It was just, I couldn't pass it up. I 100% thought you thought that. So <laughs> That'd be kind of awesome if someone thought that, I guess. Someone's going to show up to your house and be like, where's it at? And where's the island? Where's the- <laughs> there Somebody is an island that. in Doddridge County. Does it have a prison it's on it? It's very small. Yeah. Do people escape from it? No. It's just like Alcatraz then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, do you want to throw out any random <clears throat> '90s references? Mm. We've talked about cassette tapes and floppy disks and Pogs. Oh, what and, about oh gosh, um, Pogs, uh, yeah. the disc clip things that played like ten seconds of a song that oh, you put yeah. in a little tiny? Oh, the little shit, I forgot about those. What were those mm-hmm. called? Was it called? I don't think I ever had one, but I remember mm-hmm. like the commercials. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I had like NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. I thought you were talking Damn. about the little wristbands that you could snap. Oh, oh slide bracelets. Oh, they still are everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll cut you. <laughs> I was talking about last night. I mentioned this. Those squishy things that were like full of water. That oh, oh. there's a slap. It hurts every time. Slap watch. <laughs> yeah, it's got boof. But it was Mario like it had a hole awesome. in the middle. That it was like really a weird toy for kids. I think I maybe remember what you're talking about. You can cut this out later if, if Liz <laughs> doesn't want to on her podcast. But I it's saw a funny. meme that was since something like um, teaching us how to finger and give hand jobs since 1985. Oh, or yeah, oh no, I do things, know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. occasionally it comes back saying. to me, and I'm just like, man, that was really weird because it, it would weird. kind of like slip out of your hand as you tried to grab it. Okay, like because so it was just like I a sold tube. Pure Romance, and there's a very similar product that yeah. gets sold by Pure Romance. Man, it yeah, doesn't those have were any really little, strange. Like, mm-hmm. Critters in it or anything? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a slippery, like yes, t- plastic. I was like, I man, I have to say this so they'll know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I do remember. <laughs> you can edit yep. that out if you want. Nope, it's staying. <laughs> Everything stays. I don't edit them anymore unless somebody says something that has to be cut out. <laughs> I think you know, hand jobs is mild comparatively. So, so uh, you thinking cryptids Alcatraz and hand is in jobs? That's County. what we're gonna call this episode. <laughs> cryptids and hand jobs. <laughs> People might be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so we lure them That's what in. I want the we, next sticker to be. <laughs> it's one of those things. Just a Mothman giving the Grafton Monster a rub and tug. <laughs> like, just <laughs> I'm so sorry, Liz. The I'm Grafton so Monster has a mullet. We got to cut the last <laughs> 10 minutes of this episode. What are you doing? Listen, this watch does you not tell time. You have to stop making that motion. <laughs> This watch does not tell time, but it does snap right on your wrist. It slaps, No, it though. doesn't. It snapped right on top of your wrist. <laughs> I'm out of practice. <laughs> well. well, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah. Where we learned yeah. about 90s stuff <laughs> and how Ashley became the way Ashley is. Wait, what did we say about you, that? You played with toys and mullets and, you know, your mom made fun of me. She didn't make fun of you. She just wanted to know if you were really nice. I don't think so. Well. See ya. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> this is the most awkward episode ever. Sweet. I'm, I'm glad. Just... <laughs> I accomplished it. Is there anything else that you wanted to, to say before before we wrap no. up? No. Plug your stuff. Where can we find yes. you? Yes. Um, yeah, I have an Etsy store. It's Liz Pavlovic Design. A Facebook page. Um, I'm on Instagram under keep on creeping on. Yeah. I love right. the puns. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks for coming out. Yeah. Thanks and for having me. Thanks, I, Liz. I apologize again. So. <laughs>